welcome to the session. In this session, we will discuss a question which says that find the argument of the given complex numbers. First is Z1 is equal to 4 root 3 plus 4 iota. Second part Z2 is equal to minus 4 root 3 plus 4 iota. Third part is Z3 is equal to minus 4 root 3 minus 4 iota. And fourth part is Z4 is equal to 4 root 3 minus 4 iota. Now before starting the solution of this question, we should know a result. And that is, for a complex number Z, which is equal to A plus B iota, The argument of Z is an angle theta. That is, argument of Z is equal to theta, which is equal to tan inverse modulus of B by A. Now this point B is representing the number that is the complex number Z and here this is the angle theta with initial side the positive x-axis and the terminal side the way from the origin containing A plus B iota that is this point. So this theta is called the argument of Z that is the complex number Z and the theta will be equal to tan inverse modulus of B by A. Now suppose we want to find the value of tan inverse modulus of B by A lying between 0 and pi by 2 and let it be the angle alpha. Now let the complex number Z is equal to A plus B iota. Now let this complex number is represented by the point P whose coordinates are AB. Now let us find out the quadrant in which this number PAB lies by making this table in which we will discuss the various values of A and B then we will check in which quadrant this point PAB lies and then we will check the argument of Z. The first case is when A is greater than 0 and B is also greater than 0. Then in that case PAB will lie in the first quadrant. And in this case, argument of Z will be equal to alpha. Now let us discuss the second case. In this, if A is less than 0 and B is greater than 0, then this point will lie in the second quadrant. And in this, argument of Z will be equal to pi minus alpha. Now in the third case, if A is less than 0 and B is also less than 0, then in that case, this point will lie in the third quadrant. And argument of Z will be equal to minus of pi minus alpha or pi plus alpha. Now in the next case, when A is greater than 0 and B is less than 0, then this point will lie in the fourth quadrant. And in this case, argument of Z will be equal to minus alpha or 2 pi minus alpha. Now these results will work out as a key idea for solving out this question. And now we will start with the solution. Now let us start with the first part. 
Now given the complex number Z1 is equal to 4 root 3 plus 4 iota. Now alpha is equal to 10 inverse the modulus of B by A. Now here A is 4 root 3 and B is 4. So alpha will be equal to 10 inverse modulus of B by A which is equal to 10 inverse modulus of 4 by 4 root 3 which is equal to 10 inverse 1 by root 3. Now 10 inverse 1 by root 3 is equal to pi by 6. Therefore, alpha is equal to pi by 6. Now here, a is 4 root 3, that means a is greater than 0, and b is 4, that means b is greater than 0. So here, a is greater than 0, and b is greater than 0. Now using this result, which is given in the key idea, so here, as a is greater than 0, b is greater than 0, therefore, the point a, b, that is, 4 root 3, 4, lies in the first quadrant. And the argument of Z1 is equal to alpha, which is equal to pi by 6. Now let us discuss the second case. Now in the second part, the complex number Z2 is given as minus 4 root 3 plus 4 iota. Now here A is equal to minus 4 root 3 and B is equal to 4. Therefore, alpha is equal to 10 inverse modulus of B by A, which will be equal to 10 inverse modulus of 4 by minus 4 root 3. Now on solving this and taking the modulus, it will be equal to 10 inverse 1 by root 3. And 10 inverse 1 by root 3 is equal to pi by 6. Now here, A is equal to minus 4 root 3, which is less than 0. And B is 4, which is greater than 0. Now using this result, which is given in the key idea, as A is less than 0 and B is greater than 0. So the point AB which is here minus 4 root 3 4 lies in the second quadrant. And argument of Z2 is equal to pi minus alpha. Now alpha here is pi by 6. So it will be equal to pi minus pi by 6 which is equal to 5 pi by 6. Now let us discuss the third part. Now in the third part the complex number Z3 is given as minus 4 root 3 minus 4 iota. Now here A is equal to minus 4 root 3 and b is equal to minus 4. So alpha will be equal to 10 inverse modulus of b by a which will be equal to 10 inverse modulus of minus 4 by minus 4 root 3 and this will be equal to on solving and taking the modulus it will be 10 inverse 1 by root 3 which is equal to pi by 6. Therefore, alpha is equal to pi by 6. Now in this case, a is equal to minus 4 root 3 which is less than 0 and b is equal to minus 4 which is also less than 0. Now using this result which is given in the key idea as a is less than 0, b is less than 0, therefore the point ab that is the point minus 4 root 3 minus 4 
lies in the third quadrant. And the argument of Z3 will be equal to minus of pi minus alpha rho which will be equal to minus of pi minus alpha rho is pi by 6 the whole. On solving this is equal to minus 5 pi by 6 or argument of Z3 is equal to pi plus alpha which will be equal to pi plus pi by 6 which on solving is equal to 7 pi by 6. Now let us start with the fourth part. Now in the fourth part, the complex number Z4 is equal to 4 root 3 minus 4 iota. Now here, A is equal to 4 root 3 and B is equal to minus 4. So alpha will be equal to 10 inverse the modulus of B over A which will be equal to minus 4 over 4 root 3. And this is equal to 10 inverse modulus of minus 1 by root 3, which is equal to 10 inverse 1 by root 3. Now 10 inverse 1 by root 3 is equal to pi by 6. Therefore, alpha is equal to pi by 6. Now in this case, A is equal to 4 root 3, which is greater than 0, and B is equal to minus 4, which is less than 0. Now using this result, which is given in the key idea, as A is greater than 0, and B is less than 0, therefore, the point 4 root 3 minus 4 lies in the fourth quadrant. And therefore, the argument of Z4 is equal to minus alpha, which will be equal to minus pi by 6. Or, the argument of Z4 is equal to 2 pi minus alpha which will be equal to 2 pi minus pi by 6 which on solving is equal to 11 pi by 6. So this is the solution of the given question and that's all for this session. Hope you all have enjoyed the session.